Hi everyone, this is Harisha from HNB Premier Tax and Accounting LLC. I'm a CPA in New York. Um, today we're going to talk about um, the advantages of you know hiring your kids uh, to you know do work in your business if you have a business. Uh, this is a question like you know a lot of entrepreneurs you know ask. Uh, if they have young adults, teenagers. Uh, can I hire them to you know do work in my business? Are there any tax advantages? Um, yes, there are like a lot of tax advantages to do this and if you do this, you know properly um, Today, that's what we're going to talk about uh, So I'm going to give you like, you know, five basic, you know ideas that you know uh, You could you know use uh, to get, get get a tax benefit and you know, how to strategize um, And then also how to do the the record keeping right so now number one um why would you want to you know take advantage of you know uh, this this um tax you know uh, strategy because that will uh, give you your kids a chance to earn money uh when you pay your kids you know um to work in your business right and then when they earn money they may not have to pay any taxes um because if the income that they earn is only up to their standard you know deduction limits all right so then there's no taxes and at least there's no income taxes right uh, so uh, how much is the the standard you know deduction limit so if somebody is a dependent you know uh, their standard deduction limit is like you know 1100 uh, or their earn income plus another 350 all the way up to twelve thousand four hundred dollars so Let's say you know if you um, hire your your your, your um, kid, a teenage kid, to you know come and you know help you with the paperwork, you know cleaning the office or make phone calls, you know whatnot, and then pay a small amount of money, you know hundred dollars a week, right? So every week, you know he does the same, you know work, and it adds up to uh, around five thousand dollars a year. So now he will not have to pay any taxes, you know, on that income. Uh, so that's 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 a big benefit. So now, what about you know parents? Can they you know take a deduction, business you know uh, tax deduction on that you know uh, payment that they are um, paying to their kid? Yes, of course. You know that's uh, that's the eligible you know uh, payroll tax deductions uh, provided um, that kid actually comes into the business and then do actual work. Um, and then also parents you know pay the kid actually right so it has to happen it, it cannot be like you know um, you write a check at the end of the year and then you have to you know uh, keep you know proper records so now also uh, parents business depending on how their business is structured they might not even have to pay the payroll taxes right so when you pay your kid they, they will have to uh, deduct you know um, withholding taxes depending on on how much money they're getting based on the withholding tax tables but um, if the parents has like an unincorporated business meaning like a sole proprietorship uh, and also like you know regular partnership that's not registered as a as an incorporated business you know like a C corporation S corporation or an LLC so then you know if the kid is you know below 18 years of age um, the business or the kid doesn't have to pay FICA taxes, you know, which are like Social Security and Medicare taxes. And also, as long as um, the kid is, you know, below uh, 21 years of age, um, it's not subject to a uh, future taxes, a payroll and un unemployment um, uh, insurance tax, right? So now, uh, what are the other advantages that, you know, um, kids, you know, will have in a um, setup like this? They could uh, fund a IRA like you know um, one of the requirements to fund an individual retirement account is uh, you need to have earn income to fund an individual retirement account right so most kids you know cannot you know have IRAs because they don't have earn income now if you hire your kids to you know work in your business and then they have a payroll you know money coming in um, they have they get a W-2 at that point they could fund their IRA you know um, up to the level of you know their earn income let's say you know if they earn five thousand dollars they could fund their IRA all the way up to five thousand dollars they could you know use the same money um, that um, they are earning or you could you know fund it for them um, and then and then max out you know that's tax benefit so in, in a situation like this 
um, they could easily do a Roth IRA instead of a traditional IRA because you know in in, in a situation like this like you know for example let's say a kid earned five thousand dollars right um, for the year most probably you know he will not have to pay any taxes or you know on that you know earnings so doing a traditional IRA is not going to give him any tax break because there's no taxes but if the kid does you know uh, a Roth IRA so that money grows you know tax free forever because he will never have to pay taxes on on the on the earnings on that money which is a great benefit and then you know we could let you know most kids you know get a head start into their retirement savings now the last one the last benefit that you know um uh, uh in this setup you know could have is um let's say you know um the parents have, have you know parents uh, have a business um, that they're very profitable and then they have you know a significant amount of income and because of that uh, they cannot claim the education credits like American opportunity credits you know lifetime learning credits you know credits like that because their income is too high you know it gets you know the the the, the credit get phased out right so in that kind of situation if the kid has enough income that you know kid you know pays taxes on that income right so instead of parent came claiming the education credit now the kid could you know claim the education credit that way um, the family could get the benefit of the education credit otherwise that would you know go to waste nobody will be able to you know take that credit because of you know parents income now those are the like you know main you know reasons why you want to consider hiring your um, kids to work in your business. Um, those are like you know tax benefits, right? But you know apart from the tax benefits, there are a lot of other benefits that you know you will have hiring your kid to work in your business because uh, at young age you know they will get a lot of experience you know um, how it likes to you know feel likes to work in a business. First of all. Um, kids grow up so fast right I'm a you know father so I know how fast they, they grow up and then you know if you run a business you're very busy um, I'm sure you probably you know not going to get a lot of time to you know spend with them so if you can hire them and you know have them help you know you in the, in the business and then you know if they're around so that will be time that you're spending together you know uh, advising them you know teaching them uh, mentoring them you know uh, that will be very very a good thing you know for parents and, and, and kids both and not only that um, we hire a lot of like you know young young adults to our business uh, to work in various projects what I have realized is you know most of these kids you know when we get them you know they come to us uh, as like you know um, the fresh college grads without having any experience um, and me and my wife you know we laugh about this you know sometimes you know most of these kids even um, don't know how to put a you know a stamp on, on, on an envelope or where to write the return address on, a, on an envelope first of all because you know they never have you know sent out a you know regular mail um, second you know they they don't have work experience or they didn't you know pay attention but this is just one example there are like you know hundreds of examples that I could give um, you that you know um, they lack the real life experience you know another one is you know they don't know how to operate uh, uh, like a copy a copy machine or you know take uh, you know scan you know documents properly save them on a, on a um, file folder or a server these are like you know we that you know people work in offices right um, take these things for granted but you know you will see how valuable those you know skills are like when you come across someone who doesn't know how to do those you know simple things so if you have a kid that you know you bring them into the office and then teach them you know these little skills um, and then they learn and then they help you in the business um, when they graduate or when they you know ready to go you know uh, do a, a like a real you know job or you know work in a career those skills will come very very handy now not only that um, they will see what you're really doing, you know, and then, you know, if, if they see that you're busy, they will see why you're busy uh, and then they will learn a lot of other soft skills like, you know, how to interact with, with, with the team and then how to, you know, show up on time and then how to work with a, a boss or manager. 
um, and then also they will learn how to communicate with other people. Uh, these are very very good you know uh, skills that uh, um, that uh, uh, someone you know going into a career that needs to learn. And these kids, you know, if you hire them to work in a family business, they will get a head start, you know, um, uh, d doing those things. Um, so that's, you know, it for today. So um, if you are in a fortunate, you know, situation that you have young adults and then also you have a business, uh, I encourage you to, you know, look into that and then um, talk to your tax advisor, talk to your attorney, uh, talk to your tax uh, uh, CPA and do it properly, uh, do the paperwork right. So if IRS you know, comes and audit you, you have all the records, it's not just like it can't be, oh, you know, this, they're my kids, you know, let me pay their allowance through my business. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. So it has to be legitimate. Uh, if you do it right, if you do it properly, it's a legitimate tax deduction that you could take and then, you know, uh, tax advantage that your kids will have. And then with, you know, um, if you do the uh, proper strategies, you know, with that money, um, things like you know saving them in a in a in a IRA, um, they will get like a, you know head starts in life. Um, all right, uh, thank you so much uh, for listening and tuning in. Uh, until I'll see you in the next video. Uh, have a good week. Take care of one and uh, other. Thank you.